This is The Room, arguably the worst film ever made. You are lying, I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Thousands of people have willingly paid money to watch this, often many times, which begs the question, why? This is Tom Bissell. He literally co-wrote the book on this movie. The Room is about a perfect American named Johnny who does an amazing job at his bank and is constantly saving the money. Did you tell them how much you save them? Of course, what do you think? They already put my ideas into practice. And he lives with his future wife. It's after all, she's my future wife. Lisa's your future wife. And he thinks he has a great life with them together, but she's secretly sleeping with his best friend, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. I've seen The Room more than 100 times and less than 150 times. It is like a movie made by an alien who has never seen a movie, but has had movies thoroughly explained to him. A lot of the dialogue makes no sense. You'll kill me if you try. You betray me, you're not good. You, you're just a chicken. Chip, 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 chip. Characters say and do things that never really line up with how actual humans behave. How much is it? It'll be $18. Keep, go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot, bye. And there's a table full of framed photographs of spoons for some reason. There's not often that a work of film has every creative decision that's made in it on a moment-by-moment -moment basis seemingly be the wrong one. It's a famously incoherent piece of American cinema that's established a rabid cult following, a celebrity fan base. I've had Tommy Wiseau up here. <gasps> Tell yeah. me everything. I remember I saw it with Jonah Hill actually randomly, and then and like we became obsessed with them. And there are still sold out monthly midnight screenings in countries across the globe, even 14 years after its release. Why is a movie that's so incoherent and so critically panned still so popular? The Room falls into a category that some call para-cinema, which comprises all forms of cinema outside of the mainstream, including art film, horror, Elvis flicks, government hygiene films, pornography, and beach party musicals. So basically all of the good stuff. The Room is more specifically referred to as a trash film, a genre of films that are low budget, amateurishly produced, and don't fit into the standards of mainstream filmmaking. It may seem like only people with bad taste would like movies that are literally categorized as trash, but studies show that a taste for trash cinema might actually indicate higher levels of intelligence. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Empirical Aesthetics asked people who regularly watch trash films about what attracts them to the genre. They found that one of the main factors that draws people to trash cinema is its transgressive nature and its subversion of the standards of mainstream filmmaking, which are often the same reasons people are drawn to avant-garde art cinema. If you look on Amazon, the movies that people bought in addition to The Room is a solid mix between trash classics like Birdemic and Troll 2, and arthouse films like The Holy Mountain and Dancer in the Dark. One of the other reasons that people are drawn to trash cinema is an ironic viewing stance, which is also called camp. Susan Sontag once wrote that camp asserts that good taste is not simply good taste, that there exists indeed a good taste of bad taste. Ironic enjoyment of bad entertainment can be a powerful social tool that can strengthen bonds between people. Just look at Rebecca Black's viral sensation, Friday. It's Despite having almost universally bad reviews, this video has 108 million views and counting. It's hard to deny that many of us like to collectively bask in the warm glow of campy entertainment. Fun, 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 fun. Looking forward to the weekend. Fans of cult films like The Room are no different. They establish what sociologist Pierre Bourdieu termed cultural capital, which is a form of social currency that dictates one's position within a group. People at the screenings who know the most lines by heart and participate in all the inside jokes are deemed room veterans. And the screenings are a sight to see. The mood is ranges from startling cruelty, shocking misogyny, to unbelievable inventiveness and real joy. People throw plastic spoons, <laughs> wear costumes, and yell call and response lines at the screen. The fan interaction is similar to other cult classics like Rocky Horror Picture Show. The Room, to me, shatters the distinction between good and bad. Do I think it's a good movie? No. Do I think it's a strong movie that moves me on the level that art usually moves me? Absolutely not. 
but I can't say it's bad because it's so watchable. It's so fun. It's brought me so much joy. How can something that's bad do those things for me? Everyone says, oh, you have to go and see it for the first time with a live audience. And I say, are you crazy? You absolutely do not see it for the first time in a live audience because you can't hear a single goddamn line because everyone shouts and sings and screams over the entire movie. You don't have any idea what's going on in a, in a theater when you see it for the first time. You have to see it at home, preferably alone first, or with a very close loved one that you can hold afterwards for reassurance.